wait. That's like one of those things you're at the uh, at the stoplight and you push it and the lights red. It goes wait. You push again. It says wait. Do you want me to tell you what your next? Oh step is? yes. What's my next step? Hey folks. Rod Elmore here with the Rod Elmore Show. You're in luck today. We're cooking dinner with the wife. That's my wife, by the way. So, we just chopped up, well, I didn't chop it up. She just chopped up some onions, threw them in there. Actually, what are we making? We're making uh, bacon chicken ranch wraps. Healthy ones. Bacon chicken ranch wrap. Healthy ones. What's in there? Uh, diced onion and bacon pieces. So did the bacon pieces come already chopped up? <laughs> I guess yes. they did. Is what they call them, bacon pieces. I bought them that way. You want me to chop these up? Uh, it needs to be diced. Dice enough some, uh, what are these called? It's a bell pepper bell here. Pepper. That's right. <laughs> You making some what? Ranch. Ooh, making some homemade ranch. Let me wash my hands real quick. Let's cut up. This is one of my favorite knives, my Sudoku knife. I really like this knife. I really do. It's from Cutco. What's your favorite knife? Is it a chef's knife or what? You can put your response in the comments. That way I can see what you enjoy using in the kitchen. So we have the onions in here along with these bacon pieces. We are sauteing these onions up. I forgot to tell you to put it on saute first, a little bit of olive oil at the bottom uh, tablespoon of butter. okay we didn't put olive oil in the bottom but we put tablespoon of butter in the bottom real butter real butter real butter mm -hmm. put that in there are you done with this uh, no. nope not done with that put that back right down Put the bell pepper in there. I'll throw some bell pepper in here, like Chef Elmore says. Boom. Mix that up so it can saute too. If you got friends that are afraid of this here Instant Pot, you should let them know there's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be afraid of. These things are amazing. If you think Instant Pots are amazing, let me know below. All you gotta put is, Instant Pots are amazing. Or I have two Instant Pots and they're amazing. Or I have 10. I have three pressure cookers and they are amazing. You know, with nine kids, you kinda have to have... We like to buy them for people too. Oh, yeah. That's that is true. We do like to buy the <laughs> Instant Pot for gifts. I guess you can say we are Instant Pot enthusiasts. I assume you are too, or you are considering the enthusiasmness of the Instant Pot. You know, I was thinking about doing a, a live stream someday. If you think I should do a live stream cooking in the Instant Pot, that way you can follow along. Put a comment down below and maybe we'll work something out to where we can live stream an Instant Pot recipe. Live stream cooking an Instant Pot recipe. Yeah. Cut these tomatoes up. Yeah, they need to be cut up and put in a bowl. 
I'll cut that up. I can cut that up when it's cooking. Yeah, the chicken needs to be cut. Where's it at? In the sink. Oh. Alright, we got our chicken. We're gonna cube it up. Alright, now our chicken is cubed. We add to the instant pot? No. We don't add it just yet. We hold on. So, wait. That's like one of those things you're at the, uh, at the stoplight and you push it and the light's red, it goes, wait. You push again, it says, wait. Do you want me to tell you what your next step oh, is? Oh, yes, yeah, so what's my next step? Once the, once the onions are translucent and the bacon is brown. The bacon's not going to get brown. Or done, then you take it out and put it on a paper towel. Can I take all this out? Yes, with a slotted spoon. It's gonna be a little bit. Because it's cooking. It's cooking. It's cooking. So we can slice. We can get a different cutting board. We can slice an avocado and the tomatoes. We can dice them to go on our wraps. Mustard. Got here avocado. I'm gonna cut this out. Open, open, up. I'm gonna cut it. Then I'm gonna put it in a bowl or a container. I guess I gotta get a container. I got two containers. One for the avocado and one for the Tomato. Cheese and one. Take our seed out. Where are all the toppings? You want to eat, eat the avocado? Oh, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Scoop this sucker out of there. So I'm going to run a spoon along the inside of the skin and I'm gonna cut it up. I'm sure you have an easier way to cut these things up. You are more than welcome to put in the comments your way of cutting up your avocado because this is the way I cut up my avocado. Avocado. Ah. Got a little bit left. I'm gonna eat that. Slice these up nice and pretty. Boom. Oh. Wow, it's not pretty anymore. It's all right. I'm gonna set them over to the side. All right, gonna grab our tomatoes. Make sure you rinse your tomatoes off first. Don't burn the stuff in there. Oh, yeah, you got to go back to this. Don't burn it up. All right. So once your mixture in, so recap, we have. Diced bell pepper, diced onions, and bacon bits. We gotta put it in there until the bacon browns and your not bacon bits, bits of bacon. excuse me, bits of bacon, not bacon bits. Don't use bacon bits like in a container. Don't use that. Use chopped up bacon. That's what's in here. Chopped up bacon is in here. All right. Real bacon. Real bacon. So once that's to where we want it, we're gonna dump it out onto a paper towel. Let me get a paper towel. All right, we got our plates here. 
We move this cutting board out the way. We got our plate. Let's go get some paper towel. Wife's back there mixing up the ranch dressing. We make our own ranch dressing because it's a lot healthier for you. So I'm told. Alright. Put these paper towels off to the side. Okay. So it's like it's ready to be emptied out. We're gonna empty it out onto this here paper towel. I did. <laughs> All right, see that? Dump, out. Dump it out onto a paper towel on a plate. All right, and I'm browning the chicken. Yes. Gonna set this up to the side. That butter. All right, we're gonna put some butter in put here as soon as I there. find the knife. Well, you need two tablespoons, so that's probably two tablespoons of butter. So toss that in there. All right, toss it in. Boom. Then we got, we're doubling this, so we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Ooh, salt. Half a teaspoon of Pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. No, half, half of the pepper. So a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. So I heard it wrong. You half the salt and add that much pepper. Because we don't want a whole lot of salt in our diet. What? You have more salt than pepper. That <laughs> didn't make no sense. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> All right. We use sea salt. It's like from the sea? It's supposed to be healthier for you. Four teaspoons of dried parsley. Now can I put the chicken in? Yeah. Oh! The supposed to already been in there? Yes. I was supposed to add the chicken. Yeah. Then we I thought chicken you were browning there. the chicken already. Ooh, that's hot. You gotta be careful with it when you're heating up stuff. Now your seasoning stuck to the bottom. No, it's not. That was no, it's not. I didn't know that. that that was that was already there. you allowing me to deglaze. I get the honor and the privilege of deglazing the bottom of the Instapot. You're so sweet to me. Woohoo! Yeah, let me a little bit more. Two teaspoons of what? Garlic? Garlic powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. Onion. One teaspoon of onion powder. Onion powder. And then we're onion. gonna onion powder. Um, put the lid on it and. Uh, put the lid on it and cook it for and cook it forever. Four minutes. Four minutes. Wow, that's it. That's pretty cool. High pressure for four minutes. So I'll throw this lid on it. We're gonna cook it for four minutes. Oh, wait. Oops. Whoops. 
We're gonna let it do its thing. Four minutes. Oh, <laughs> water. We're gonna go ahead and dice up these tomatoes so we can put them in our wrap. Went ahead and diced up some tomatoes. Okay, now I'll leave that until it gets to 10. Diced up tomatoes to go on the wrap. And put it over to the side. We're gonna let this slow release for 10 minutes. Uh oh. Well, that's real life. All right. It's my mom. My mom's on the phone. Say hi, mom. Say hi, mom. Say hi. Okay, say hi to the viewers, mom. See, she said hi. Okay. Well, we are definitely going to enjoy this this meal. The chicken just got done, so we got to finish it up. Okay. All right. Love you. All right, bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right, what's next? So here's our onion, bacon. Onions and Where bacon. Spoon, I have a slotted spoon, though. I have a slotted spoon? You didn't use the slotted spoon? Use this slotted spoon to take the chicken out. El chicone out. Ooh, look at that. Scooping it out. I save the juice in a mason jar and use it in place of chicken broth. Well, it is kind of chicken broth. It's chicken it is chicken broth. It is chicken broth. I'm saying in other recipes, so I don't, I don't um, get rid of the juice that's in here. I use it for like in my brown rice mm -hmm. to cook. Sounds kind of healthy. To replace some of the liquid in my brown rice. So mix that up. Mix it up. Babe, that's not all of it. Yeah, lettuce, tomato, avocado, uh, rice. Okay. Mixing it up. Wait, do I put ranch dressing in it? You are, yes. So I just pour some in it. Now you need a cup. What do you, yeah, hang on, hang on. Okay, so this is our healthy homemade ranch. Healthy homemade as opposed to store-bought. Store -bought. This doesn't have sugar in it like most store-bought ranch does. No sugar, sugarless ranch. This is it's light tasting olive oil, apple cider vinegar, I lost my spoon. Uh, raw egg, parsley. Wait, you put a raw egg? We eating a raw egg? Yep. I okay. guess it's a good thing we got our own chickens. Yep. Our own chickens. Salt, garlic powder. Let me mix this up now. So, salt, garlic powder, so egg. Light tasting olive oil. Uh -huh. Apple cider and vinegar. Okay. Egg. Okay. Salt. Uh, garlic powder. Parsley. Mustard. Now for those that don't. Powder mustard. Oh, powder mustard. Okay. Now for those that don't want egg, do you have to have the egg? Uh, you can use uh, a flax egg instead. Flax egg. So hear that? You can use a flax egg. Yes. All right, and that's dinner. And then we have brown rice. And so what are we wrapping it in? So you can make a salad. You can put it on a tortilla. You can use lettuce and make a lettuce wrap. You can make a Rice bowl with brown rice. There's lots of options. Uh -huh. And 
Then you and Ladaria fight over who's going to take it for lunch. So, the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like the leftovers. And that's what it looks like. That is bacon chicken. We call it wrap, but it's a bacon chicken mixture. And I put it on brown rice. Yummy. So if you haven't subscribed, if you like what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, when you subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified every time that we make another video. Um, like I said, we're going to try to stream a video or two or three or four or however many. Um, streaming can be a little challenging, but I like to do that. That way I can communicate with you while we're cooking it together, you know, let you know beforehand all the ingredients that we're going to be using. And then we just cook together live and you see all my mistakes and I don't see any of yours. So how is that fair? It's not at all. But it's not about being fair. It's about cooking together as a community. And that's what I would like to start. It's us cooking together, eating well as a community. Well, until next time, be safe.